I have bought you both presents. Ooh, ooh, lovely. I have for you both <gasps> ukuleles. You. The challenge is not only can you finish building your ukulele, but how well it is decorated. We are doing our, our ukulele challenge. What are we, what are we gonna do? Um, I know what I'm gonna do. I've got my gold spray. I. And my varnish. I'm gonna bejazzle mine. Can you say the jazzle? I think it, the correct term might be be jazzle. So I've got my pink and my lilac because I've gone pearly. Right, okay. Well, I'm gonna get on with it because- I think we need to- um, I haven't even looked at mine yet. So this is my tenor, my tenor uke. Do you think we need to cover up the fingerboard? I'm just gonna take- Ow! Yeah. <laughs> you just spiked yourself. <laughs> So I'm just back from Pride Northampton, had some great fun at that, and I've got a little bit of time. So I'm going to start the old Ahana kit. So the first thing I've got to do actually is to sand this down. So I've been to a DIY shop, I've got some varnish, I've got some paintbrushes, and I've got some sanding paper. Catch. What's this? Bing, bing. Um, well, I think that Babs from next door has been, uh, been around again. Oh. Always got the bolly out. Riveting viewing this. So that's all now sanded down. So I've come up with a cunning idea that to decorate it, I'm going to get my very talented daughter to uh, do one of her original designs on the back. So she's doing it in pencil to begin with. And then she's going to go over it. I'm going to varnish over the top of it. I <laughs> love it. I can't see uh, Abby and KD coming up with anything this good. So talk me through your design. Well, I'm, I'm going gold top. Haven't decided about the back and sides yet because I would like a little bit of binding, which I can't do. Why don't you paint it on? Because <sighs> I think it would look Right. I quite want to do a road worn version. You're just going to drag it around the car park? Yeah. What's that noise, Bongo Boy? It's Neil. Neil the Gardener. He looks like an old school movie star. Abby likes Neil the Gardener quite a lot. I have to shake it really well, like for a few minutes. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. I mean, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with Abby here. She's going to end up. She's going to end up pink and purple, I think. That's not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is the shimmer one, isn't it? So it's, I quite like the effect. I quite like that you see the wood through it. It's not what I was anticipating. No, but it's quite nice. I like the wood effect coming through. I think you should consider that. Do you? That's actually quite nice. Did you wipe it? Sam, now I've got a handprint on it. <laughs> I didn't say, I reckon you can touch you know it. What? Yours was looking so nice. Like, literally, even just like that with wood showing through, I kind of would have said, just leave it. Sorry, Sophie, you're not on camera. I just want to hang my ukulele up to dry in your warehouse. Is that all right? I think Abby thinks Bongo Boy is her personal cameraman. Unbelievable. Drying, just drying. Why people don't want to see me do this, I've got no idea. You done? It's drying. Bongo Boy is, is the person we go to for everything in life. You got a scalpel, Bongo Boy? Yeah, I was lying, I don't need one. But I might need one at some point. I think. I kind of missed a little bit there, but I think it'll be all right. <laughs> what? Do I want a gold headstock? If you want to do the fender, the fender don't, don't do that. <laughs> now, woman. I'm just basing it on my gold Fender Stratocaster. Then you want it to look exactly the same as that, yeah. Which doesn't have a coloured match headstock. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just eating my chocolate. <laughs> what are you doing? Laughing at the way you're taping that up. Why? <gasps> you just take everything a bit too seriously, don't you? I'm <laughs> like I'm after this being a top quality. Stop throwing string at me, <laughs> ukulele. 
<laughs> you and Paul, you and Paolo, P-Man. Paolo Nugini. Yeah. Jesse calls you A-Girl. <laughs> Why? Which I think is quite suited <laughs> to you. <laughs> Stop it. Can you... What are you doing? Stop it. You're a child. <laughs> You have to tape the entire ukulele. I've got to tape the entire ukulele up. Oh. What have you done? Uh, Abby, if you've cut through more than one thing, you are in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. You better run, because I'm doing sharp. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I've got, no, I've got the vicar coming round. Oh, you've right? got the vicar coming round? <laughs> oh, no. And you've got a big... <laughs> on your arm. Well, I hope the vicar enjoys that. <laughs> Tell him it's a pair of scissors. I'm going to wash this off right now. Good. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my ukulele? I will spray that nice new shirt. Where is it? It's not loaded. <laughs> well, two can play at that game. Where's my ukulele? Some place you'll never find it. Well, I may have uh, had a little artistic merriment with your ukulele. You better not have drawn on my ukulele or you'll never get yours back. Where's my ukulele? It'll be buried in the ground. Where's my like ukulele? You. <laughs> Has he touched my ukulele, Bongo yeah. boy? It's perfect. Where's mine? Where is my ukulele? No! You <laughs> ruined it! <laughs> I'll back myself down a corner. I'm going to have to fight my way out. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she, <laughs> Enough now. Stop shooting me. Oh, I was wearing the boob. Here it is, you my friend. <laughs> I can't believe you drew on my ukulele. How will I get that off? Now, yeah, see, I've got Abby was here written on the back. It's not something generally you want on your ukulele, is it? I feel like that might devalue it when we come to auction this. The other three are doing a like DIY instrument, so I thought, yeah, I could do that. I'm not a ukulele player, so I'm going to do something slightly different. I got a minor DIY bongo cajon kit, uh, which I got a couple of years ago, and I never finished it. So I thought, perfect opportunity, I'll finish it now. I'd half glued it, and I'm now just gluing the top. So under this pile of stuff is a bongo cajon and some paper. Yeah, I only had two clamps, so I've just glued the top on, but I only had two clamps, so this is my third clamp, same colour scheme, um, and that should mean that the top is securely on, you can see a bit of glue residue there, which I'll cut off or sand off afterwards, and then I'll just have to figure out what design I'm going to put on it. Right. Yeah, it hasn't exactly. Oh, I've got nice gold on my finger. A bit closer, maybe. Oh, I've got splodges. No, I've got a big splodge that's just like... I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to sand it down. That's not good, is it? Okay, we're going to come back and that's going to be perfect when we come back. So, I've given this a few coats now and uh, it is hard work but it's getting there look it looks good from a distance it looks great from there but when we go up close we've got a few of these little splats so i'm having to just sand it down in between each coat some really fine sandpaper and hopefully i'm gradually getting rid of these splats okay so after lots of coats my uh, my gold top ukulele is pretty much there. So next job is to stain the sides, the back, the neck, and the headstock, and then I'll be ready to apply a varnish. Yeah, I've got some wood dye, so I'm gonna go quite dark. Got some brushes, put it on with, some lint three cloths, so I don't get bits all over it. Right, let's give it a go. Let's see how this goes on. Oh my goodness. That, that is black, isn't it? 
I wasn't expecting that. It's darker than what I perhaps wanted. But. Whoa, 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 whoa. Absolute disaster. Disaster, disaster, disaster. Oh, f okay. So, bit of a disaster. <laughs> my um, my tripod on my phone just knocked everything off. And I've even got wood dye stain all over my phone screen. Disaster. Right, I'm going to stop here and tidy up before I carry on. Right. We're back with a clean bit of cardboard <laughs> after knocking the camera over and spilling wood stain everywhere. It's a good job I don't actually need much. Oh, sugary. It's gone all the way down the table. That is looking, if I do say so myself, pretty damn awesome. God, I try to make, it does make you realise but some of these cheap manufactured ukuleles, but there's still work that goes into them. I know they're on a production line and everything else, but to get a really okay finish, it is quite difficult, is that? And it really makes me think, you know, the handmade ukulele as well. They, those guys really do know what they're doing. Paul and Abby, eat your heart out because my ukulele is a coming for you. Right. I've been sanding the edges and got it quite reasonably smooth. I need to do that one. I also need to finish up this bit. It cracked a little bit there. Well, splintered. But that'll be fine. I can fill that or something. Um, that's the bottom of it. But I've also made a start on the design. If you can tell what that is. thinking it might be cool because it's like a bit of Put some wheels on it and it's not jam jarred but like one of the downsides of being the cameraman is I forget to film myself so yeah I've been working on this I taped it all off and got these nice crisp lines going all the way around. I have a new addition. They were digestive biscuit coasters. I painted them black and put that on the middle. I think I'm going to have to do something else. I can imagine. I'm going to have them offset a little bit. So it's got little wheels and I've got four of them. I've just taped off the green because I want to spray the the rest of it, the top and the sides, with white. So I just need to tape that off. Hopefully it comes off and doesn't take a paint with it. A bit of colour. Ren's going to add a bit of red now. Oh yes, that is looking good. So we've just turned the um, ukulele over and now we're going to do, if you look here, um, we've got the anarchy in the ukulele logo so we're going to put that here so my daughter's going to do a freehand drawing of that which should be pretty cool as well so Ren's just drawn a little circle that she's going to put the uh, anarchy sign in I'm actually really excited to see what uh, Sam comes up with I mean obviously Kevin and Abby's will look just you know like an abomination but Sam should be really good Kevin will probably just put a picture of himself on it Probably. Actually, to be fair, Abby's might be quite good. Mm. But Sam will put like a lighthouse on Yeah, it. that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Tuning pegs going on, that's how accurate we are in our stuff. Oh yeah. Just going over this one to get the orange colour for the um, anarchy in the ukulele. 
we've done the Anarchy logo and we're just going to do another little face here which will then be perfect. I'm just going to colour the hair in a little bit. Well, say we, when it's. So here is our final very cool design. And then we've got this beautiful little vamp face here. And then here we have the Anarchy logo. And then just on the headstock, you can see we've got the word Anarchy. So uh, what are you doing, Bungo Boy? I'm doing your work for you. We're not gonna. We're not. We're not gonna tell Paul and Abby about this, are we? I've decided that I'm gonna weather this. This gold finish that I spent all evening doing. I'm now taking sandpaper to, and I'm gonna do a road worn because if anyone's watched any of my reviews, they will know that I like a road worn. And I love my road worn Martin. I'm gonna take you a little tour, a little tour of uh, Anarchy in the Ukulele headquarters. This is Bongo Boy's desk where uh, he's doing video editing and such. This is a little sneak peek of Abby's ukulele. Now me and Bongo Boy actually think that she's done a pretty good job and it looks pretty cool like this, but I think she might ruin it. So <laughs> we'll see. Quick whiz round here. So this is our, our hub, which is our office where we're doing our work. And then we come out, we go into the studio which is where we record, and you will recognise. There's all sorts of things. And what I've come to show you is, so this is my Fender, and it's um, it's nicely worn, and it's gold, and this is what I'm basing my ukulele on. And you can see, you know, there's bits of paint flaked off, there's little dinks in it, um, and it's nice and vintage looking, and that's what I'm gonna try and do with this little bad boy. I can't decide whether it's going particularly very well at the minute, but we'll see. So Bongo Boy is still secretly helping me. Right, about there? Yeah, about there is perfect. Nice and straight, Bongo Boy, nice and straight. Sprawling all over the place. <laughs> now the other two have got this kind of detail on their ukuleles. What do we think? Look at that bad boy! Beautifully straight. Slightly to the left. <laughs> Time to start the vajazzling. I've taken off my masking tape. You can see the contrast really nice. I've sort of forgotten the colour of the fretboard. So that is beautiful. And we are going to start a little bit of vajazzling with the help of two one year olds and a five year old. Got some gems here. Very excited. Got this special little tool all the way from China, rhinestone picker pencil. Ooh, ooh, it comes in a little tube. That's quite satisfying, isn't it? And I've got some, um, gem. some gems. This is some gem tack. Always cover work area. Wow. So, these are so shiny. So shiny. And then I've got this little tool. And I think the idea is that you can pick one up with this. Oh, that doesn't work, does it? Oh, there we go, look. Okay. So. Now we need to stick a couple of gems on. Well, this is annoying. I'm gonna take ages. Well, this is going to take a long time. It's looking snazzy though. Excited to see the final result. Come back in about 17 hours. Now this is what all good instruments should look like. It's how Gibson do this. Yeah, it's how Gibson do this. I mean, it's quite, it's how fun to do this. <laughs> you buy a custom shop, you pay more money for the privilege of it looking like this. That's a good one. Ooh, got some nice little marks in there, that. What do we think? <laughs> Abused. <laughs> well, that's, that's kind of what we want. So I kind of want it to look that bit sort of battered and bruised. I think I'm achieving that. 
Now, some of you might be wondering what on earth I've done. <laughs> and I might be wondering that myself a little bit, but I'm going to this authentically worn, very well played in instrument. I mean, this one looks like it's been burnt a little bit, but you know, maybe it has. Maybe in its life it's, it's seen some action and it's got cigarette burns. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. I'll show you the neck look, nicely worn down neck. The headstock is looking awesome and old. Around the sides there, a little bit of wear and tear. It's <laughs> my concentration face. This is thrilling content. Yeah, it's really quite hard, isn't it, to yep. get it started. Any recommendations? Use a knife. No, that's even more frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> Look how hard was that? This is me peeling the back off the sticker. <laughs> Paul's cheeks, pea cheeks. First sticker on there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, it smudges quite a bit, never mind. <laughs> that is pretty cool, isn't it? Just making uh, the stickers to go on the back of my ink. So I'm basically gonna stick a bomb the back of my ink with pictures of us all, thumbnails, a few logos, and that's gonna stick a bomb. I've started stickering it. I'll show you that. I think it looks pretty cool. So it's going to have stickers all over it, plastered all over it. And then I'm going to varnish over the top of that to seal them all in and make them all look shiny and cool. So I've just trimmed around the edge of my stickers. And I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, I think it's going to look really awesome. I kind of wish maybe I'd done that on the front now because the back of the ukulele just looks absolutely amazing. And the front is my red one, <laughs> and it looks a bit knackered. But I guess, no, I love it, I love it, because it's kind of, it's understated front, looking cool, back, totally awesome. Okay, right, can't contain my excitement. I'm gonna do the spraying now of the varnish. Hung my ukulele up, it is looking awesome. Okay, here we go. The back and the sides. I think I've just got to build up the layers somewhat. And then it'll be pretty good. So here's our final awesome design that my daughter's done. So I'm now going to varnish this. So we're just going to do a bit of varnishing and see what happens when we do this. Hopefully it'll be alright. Um, I've just read that we've got to do, oh yeah that looks pretty good doesn't it? Believe it or not 16 to 24 hours between each coat and it says it needs three coats so that's okay. I'm hoping that actually it will be this colour when I've done it. We're just varnishing the neck. We're, we're just chatting, saying we really hope it stays this beautiful, beautiful colour that it's gone. Because before we varnished it, the wood sort of looked a bit like cheap balsa wood, to be honest. But now that we've varnished it, it's suddenly it's come alive. And we're far from professional varnishers. And we've got a few blobs here and there, but it's really come alive and starting to look beautiful colour so you can see the difference in colour between this bit we've done and the bits we haven't so sorry this is the bit we haven't done and then you can see it's really taken on a beautiful sort of yellowy almost mango kind of wood colour I've no idea what wood it is I know it's not expensive wood um, I guess it's just sort of, sort of almost plied wood if that makes sense this is my drying invention which Luthiers will probably be very interested in how to dry a varnished ukulele in the sun. You forgot to film again. I'm in the middle of nowhere, brought my car out here to spray paint the cajon and some wheels. I've just I've masked out the outside and then just sprayed the inside white. Uh, but you can't really tell much difference apart from the logo. That's how white it is, I've just gone for a very light covering. 
and then I'll probably sand it down. It'll take a bit of the white off, but that will give it a nice rustic look, which I'm going for. Uh, there's a couple of drips because I'm not very good at spraying. And I did it at the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. I now have to try and drive. I'm not even going home. I'm going to have a haircut with a wet cajon in the back. I'm painting the windows. I've done half of them. The other side's not done yet, and the back's not done because I did this side. And I painted it all, all nice, all neat, and then I did this side. And as I was doing it, I was like touching here, and I didn't see. And I looked over here, and it was just like black fingerprints all over, and I'd smudged all of this. All right, finishing touches. Stuck the wheels on. This bad boy! Are you gonna put a sticker over that little logo? No. I don't know which way round do these go? Do they go that way? Or do they go that way? Oh, I don't know. Stop, 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 just stop, just stop. Why? Why? Because I put it on a different one to see if he would notice. I would, have gone, I would have been so angry at you. <laughs> Are you looking forward to uh, stringing your first ukulele? No, not really. How's that going tight? You haven't even tied it. It's my skill. So I'm just putting the tuning pegs in. All I've done, you can see there's a little circle bit that goes in there that you fit in. And then these just slot in. Then I'm just screwing them in one at a time and it's it's really difficult to get them in because the screws are incredibly small and incredibly hard to get in so let's see I think that's straight get that nice and tight perfect so here's another problem the strings that come with it are not labeled um, now I've been playing ukulele a long time and even I struggle to tell the difference between string thicknesses. So what it says here, you can just see it's telling you which string is which by the thickness, which is no use at all. You know, I'm sorry, but if you're a beginner, that's just not good enough. It's not hard to label strings, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these living water strings that I, I took off of my ukulele actually these are my go-to strings either these these are great strings or the strings by Tin Man they're really good strings as well so these have actually been used once but they weren't used for long I was doing a concert and um, I took them off so I'm going to use these ones so you can see that strings like these come and they're clearly labeled so that one says it's an E string so I know what one is what so we'll start with the high G which is this one here hopefully I left some quite a good length on these uh, not too bad could have been a bit longer but there you go so we'll put that through there and just check that it's long enough because I tend to cut them quite short that should be okay so I'm feeling really pleased with myself I have finished my Hana kit ukulele I think it's looking awesome. Shall we have a listen to it? See what it sounds like, because I'm really impressed with this. it was great fun to do and um, yeah I'm really impressed and I can't wait to see KD and Abby's designs and see who the winner is so uh, vote for me if it's a voting thing okay thanks for listening so we've all been very busy working on our ukuleles yeah, very busy yeah it's a bit like a pub table isn't it <laughs> <laughs> you know when Katie Price got married in that big pumpkin thing I've got that's what I'm picturing she's got it in a fancy case oh, no. no surprise there it's all open your eyes oh my god